Good morning guys and welcome back to a another vlog. But please excuse all of the mess around me. I basically took the cushions off the sofa and washed them, hence why they're hanging everywhere. And I've just had this Zara order come in. However, tried to put on the top and it broke. For some reason the extra small just wasn't working for me today. I don't know why the sizing was so small, but I've actually seen that these little codes here mean something, like this little triangle, and then like this one has a square, and they also have ones with circles. So I think they're meant to mean like if it's true to size or like to size up or size down, but definitely with this top, I needed to size up. But I have a second order, for some reason they've split it into two, that should be coming today. I've got my cute little summer dress on today, this is from Revolve. I literally wanted this dress for so long, like years, and it always sells out and I managed to get my hands on it in the lockdown and now I'm able to wear it out on this beautiful sunny day. But I'm actually in a really good mood today, the sun is shining and I have a really nice day planned. So I'm actually going to go and get my nails done. But before I carry on with this vlog, I have a very exciting discount. Now, you guys know if you've been watching the vlogs for a while that I love HelloFresh. I've been using them, especially this lap this last lockdown I got into HelloFresh and I was constantly sharing them here on the vlog but obviously I wasn't working with them, it was just generally buying the recipes and love them and sharing them with you guys but they are partnering with me on this vlog which is really exciting and I have a discount code for you guys so you can now use it because I know a few of you are asking me for one. This gets you 50% off your first box and then 35% off the next three so I will leave all the T's and C's down below with the code and the link you can use. But I'm just going to do a little rewind to last night to me making dinner because we made such a good paella. It was chef's kiss. So let's just go back in time so you can see that recipe first. <laughs> My little paella dish, I actually got this off Amazon, and then add the chorizo. And I'm now going in with the onion, and then letting that cook for like three to four minutes, and then afterwards I'll add in the pepper. Now I added in the risotto rice, the water which you measure out, I think it was 450 ml, and now chicken stock paste is going in, along with the saffron powder so it's so good they just do it in these little sachets which means you don't have to like go out and buy like the whole spices and stuff it's just a whole lot easier and then once the paella is nearly done you add the prawns to a hot plate wow i just added that with it let's take that out let's add all of these king prawns So I've just added these to a hot pan and then I'm going to add a little bit of lemon and garlic with them as well just so they give them a good flavour. And voila, look at that paella. And then these are the prawns sizzling on the side. So I'm just going to add the prawns to it. And then just season it with a bit of salt and pepper, parsley and some lemon. Yum. Got like a taste of Spain at home. So yeah, last night's dinner, honestly, was so good. Highly recommend HelloFresh. It's so good for just, we hate going to the supermarket and doing like the whole supermarket shop. So just having it delivered to your door and our delivery driver is the nicest guy as well that delivers it. We normally get it on a Sunday evening, like ready for the week ahead. So yeah, I'm really kind of just in my little routine now of doing HelloFresh, trying out loads of different recipes. I just find it so much easier. It all comes to your door. You don't have to worry about like getting spices and stuff like that. It's just all done for you. So I will be doing another recipe tonight. I think it is butternut squash that's on the menu. Let's have a look. Yeah, so last night's was the prawn and chorizo paella. I always keep these, so then obviously I can use them again. And I keep the ones obviously I like, so then I can always reorder them again. But tonight we're doing roasted butternut squash curry. So I will be doing that with you guys later when I do get back home, because I'm actually gonna be out all day. But my absolute favorite HelloFresh one is this. It's the roast potato 
kale and bacon crispy salad it is only 500 calories i kid you not it's honestly the best salad i've ever had me and chris always remake this at home it's super easy to do so yeah i'll do another little recipe with you guys tonight i'm gonna head out now i'm gonna go get my nails done and then i'm meeting amelia because we're gonna go shoot and then have some drinks and just like a nice little girls day out and then i need to pop to the shops pick up some bits and i'm actually picking up a little kind of designer purchase and i want to do a bit of shopping so i will take you guys along with me on that I got my nails did I just went for like a white and then a cute little peach on my toes but I'm just out with Amelia this sunshine <laughs> is making us glow right now it's such a lovely day we're just shooting she's literally just got changed in the middle of the street I we're, know. Gonna... <laughs> we're gonna get this look done and we found this cute little bush here on the street get some little snaps so we finished up shooting and now we've come for some well-deserved cocktails I'm at this little pop-up in Sloan Square with Lilette and they invited us here which is so nice and much needed and this breeze is actually really lovely but I feel like it's probably going to be so really windy, windy. Um, but they've just also brought over these gorgeous crepes they've got like a little crepe stand these little spritzers so we're going to have a nice little drink cheers hon cheers darling happy Wednesday <laughs> a glass of red i am back home i actually had a successful little trip in zara as you guys saw and then i came home and my package had arrived which i was so happy about so i'm going to try on all of that stuff tomorrow with you guys and also my h&m package arrived so i feel like after my purge in my last vlog if you missed it you would have seen that i got rid of so much stuff out my wardrobe and made room for all the new stuff which i had obviously ordered so i had a good little shopping trip I am so hot though, I've just been walking around the park with Bailey and I'm just going to call off now and I'm making some dinner. So it's HelloFresh again tonight. I am making roasted butternut squash curry. So I've preheated the oven to 220 and then I'm going to follow the steps with you guys. I thought we'll do a little cooking session. I used to do these a lot on my Instagram. Mm. And obviously it was more in the lockdown. And I feel like you can't cook without a good glass of wine. This is my favourite red, by the way. It's called the Governor. It's actually really cheap. It's from Majestic. And it's just such a good red. I love it. And I actually really like the packaging. Also, I've took my rings off now because I always take them off when I cook. Had a nice little white um, manicure. And then I had a little kind of like coral. Don't want to lift my leg up because you'll probably see too much on my feet earlier. So I had a nice little pamper sesh. So let's get started with this HelloFresh cooking. We have the butternut squash. I love butternut squash. So this is obviously a veggie meal, which is great for veggies and I think vegan as well. Got our green beans, onion, vegetable stock paste, tomato paste, our spices and rice. 
So this is honestly why I love HelloFresh. And it's just the fact that you just get all the ingredients like this, which means you don't have to go to the shop and like buy the whole thing and then waste it afterwards. So it's really helping on not wasting food and just making my life so much easier. Oh, and also sour cream, which I've also got in the fridge. So I've chopped up the butternut, drizzled with oil, salt and pepper, and then this is gonna go in the oven for like 20 minutes. So now that's cooking, I'm gonna go in with the onion and just cut this up and then also cut the ends of the green beans. But now to make the curry, just heated up the pan with some oil and going in with the onion first. Start to cook this until it goes like kind of like soft and brown. I'm actually gonna put on my cute little apron. My sister got me this for Christmas and I don't want to get any kind of like oil or cooking on my revolve dress. So the apron is going on guys. Cute as this. It's from Anthropology, I think she got it from. Got the water, I'm gonna add that. along with the vegetable stock paste. So I'm pretty sure this is obviously a vegetarian meal, which yeah, it definitely is. And I think it is vegan, guys, as well. And it's honestly such good curry. I've tried this, like I said, a few times and it's one of our favorites. And I don't think it's many calories either. It's only 596 calories. So it's a decent filling. It's like a good filling meal and you don't feel guilty for it. So that is now cooking up the curry. Okay, so whilst that is cooking, I'm gonna top myself up and wait basically and then enjoy. I feel like the rice is probably done. The curry won't take long and then all I have to do is add the butternut squash to it, mix it up and it is done. I mean, my presentation probably isn't 10 out of 10, but there we have it guys. I have a little bit of rice here. I'm really weird, I don't like to put my stuff on top of my rice, so I have it separate on the side. And then I saved a little bit of the sour cream to drizzle over the top as well. And I have a yummy, low calorie dinner, which literally took me like 30 minutes. So every time I'm eating dinner and I'm just finishing up, he comes and brings his toys. Ignore my packages here. You wanna play? Hi baby. Playtime. By the way, this is the remains. <laughs> of his favorite teddy bear and he will not part with it. Let's play, drop it, drop it. Good boy. Okay, go get it. gotten up had a nice little bit of a, I wouldn't even say it's a slow morning I got up early I was working I had a meeting this morning via zoom obviously just quickly put my hair up in a claw clip I have just finished my makeup just need to do my lips I feel like you can't really see properly here 
very kind of subtle everyday makeup because I'm basically filming a lot today and I've just put this dress on it's so lightweight it is absolutely gorgeous if you guys saw my last vlog you'll have seen that I did a full kind of clear out my wardrobe and got all my summer dresses out and this is actually Revolve Songs of Styles dress the whole fit of it is just stunning I love the sleeves it comes in here ruched brings you in at the waist drops down the perfect length as you can see here it kind of just hits above my ankles and then it has this lovely little slit it's just so easy and lightweight to throw on on the hot days like today when I'm just at home but I'm literally going to be filming all day I'm going to sort my hair out I'm going to curl it with the GHD rise brush real quick real quick can't get my words out today and then I will show you what I got from Zara and H&M because I feel like we need to cover all of that I basically tried it on last night before I went to bed so I didn't really show you then but there's some really really nice pieces so we're gonna do a bit of a try on haul guys and this one is having a little bit of a lazy morning huh yes Okay, so I've done my hair. I've actually just been filming all morning. I just went on a little lunch break with Bailey, took him on a W. I have to say W because he's sat here in front of me. Dog owners, you'll understand. But I'm going to get into showing you what I got from Zara. So I've had some online packages. I've had some in-store purchases and also my H&M order. So I thought the best way to do this is just do like a try on and I will show you in the mirror all the different pieces because there's a lot to get through here. So first up is this little two piece. Now if you saw my Instagram stories, you will know I struggled to get in this top but then I managed to basically, I basically ordered two and I don't know why but I'm really glad I did. The first one broke and then the second one come and I've managed to like loosen up the strap so it was easier to get on but the colour of this is just stunning so I actually saw a girl in London wearing it just shopping and I literally ran up to her I was like where is your outfit from it's super cute so I definitely added this to my basket I think this will look so cute with going away as well so I will obviously show you the back because this is where all the detail is it's like all crisp and crossed at the back I love it and then these are the trousers so they are super long you guys know I always moan about Zara trousers being long, so definitely need to get these taken up. So I ordered the extra small and the small. I'm just lifting this up so you can see. These are the small, as you can see, I have a little bit of room in them, whereas the extra small are really tight, so I'm kind of in between which size to keep. I just feel like maybe to go with a small, in case I do have a blow, and you know, you just want a little bit of room, if you're like wearing them all day. So I think to maybe keep with these and just get them tailored at the bottom. I also want to pair these with this kind of like scarf top I've got as well. So I got this scarf and I thought this would look really cool as a top paired with the trousers because the colour goes through it and I just thought this is such a cool outfit to wear in the evening. And then I also got some pink heels which I will put on and show you to match with this outfit and just kind of make it as like a really cool evening look. We are hoping to go Ibiza whilst we're out in Spain. So I thought this would be a really cool little Ibiza get up. And with this scarf as well, I'll also wear it as like a headpiece. And you obviously can wear it different ways. You can like do it as a halter neck top. But I just think it looks quite cool. Like this bandana style paired with these trousers. Very much loving this outfit. And then I did also get it in the skirts. This is the exact same colour, like material, comes as the set in case you don't want the trousers. And it has this slit and then it has these kind of like ties here, however you want to tie it. And then at the back, but I'm going to return this just because I feel like I much prefer the trousers. And the fastening on here is really weird as you can see, like the buttons show and I feel like it's already kind of like hanging off. So definitely going to return the skirt. I feel like the quality just isn't there for me. And I got this cute little top and I thought this would look really sweet just with some denim shorts. It's just like an everyday little outfit. This would also look nice with the pink trousers. So that's why I kind of like picking pieces like this that I know I can mix and match with each other. But I just thought this is super sweet, like the little frill detail. This is an extra small, it fits absolutely fine. I feel like even it's kind of like a little bit big. So definitely downsize if you do get it. It's got this lovely little detail here in the embroidery on the frills and then obviously it comes in. So it's really flattering, just a cute little top to put on with shorts, jeans, even like the trousers. I just thought this was really sweet. Okay, so I wouldn't actually wear this top with these trousers. I've just put them on just to show you the top. I mean, you could if you wanted and kind of go for that like contrast 
but I think this would look really nice with my white linen trousers I've got from Zara, which are currently in the wash because I got coffee down them. But I just thought this linen halter neck top is stunning with this knot detail here. And then it also comes like low at the back here. I've just quickly put it on, so it might be a little bit twisted, but I just think this is so nice. I thought this would also look really nice with some denim, even like some denim shorts and wear it quite casual in the day. But I think I'm gonna go like quite dressed up with this in the evening and do like a pop of color on my lips and just go all white. Okay, so I actually saw a girl wearing this on the tube with the Chloe tote bag that I had. And I was like, that looks really cool. So I thought I would get it and try it, but it's a no from me. I just feel like it's not really me. It's not really doing anything for me. Not really liking it. This is the extra small. And I feel like if I was to lift my arms up, like it's just a little bit too small. I just, no, I think this is going to be a return. But I thought I'd show it you because like I said, I saw the girl in it. She looked fab. It just doesn't look fab on me. Okay, and then this is the little play suit that I tried on yesterday in the Zara store. And I ended up getting it because this is how I kind of envisioned it with my Gucci hat, my Chloe tote bag, and my Chloe sandals. I'm just gonna put this down for now. But I'm kind of, I'm in an R and if to keep it. What do you guys think? I feel like it's just kind of like a comfy little play suit to put on, and then it's got the little um, details here that you can tie, so it's a little bit more adjustable, which is nice. I just feel like maybe this bit, though, comes a little bit, like, down, like the crotch area. Like, I feel like it needs to be up here a little bit. But then I do like the fact that it's quite loose. What do you guys think? Shall I keep this? Shall I return it? I'm a little bit undecided on this one. You guys saw yesterday, I tried this dress on in store, but I did the back completely differently. I did it like halter neck and then one big scoop at the back. But this is actually how it's meant to go. And then have it kind of like crisscross this um, kind of style at the back. But I actually think I prefer how I did it. Like have it halter neck and then just have it drop down. So with this, you can obviously style it a little bit different. I've seen a girl also have this like crossed at the top, but I just think it looks a little bit more flattering when it is more of like a halter neck style. But I just think this kind of like bubblegum pink is so pretty. Obviously it's been in the bag, so it needs a little bit of esteem, but I just love this dress. I think it's really cute. It's just like an easy throw on. I feel like I'm gonna wear this this weekend for like a little boozy brunch. And you saw me try this on in the fitting room. This is pretty similar to the other one it's more of like a fuchsia pink and it comes up here and then has a little bit of a crisscross here at the back and then the elasticated bit and then I love that it has this little frill on the bottom I feel like these little slip dresses are just so easy to wear in the summer really lightweight they're an outfit in themselves and you can dress these up wear them casual in the day I think this would look really nice with some like hot pink um, or even like baby pink heeled sandals as well. So this gorgeous like lime green khaki dress, I tried on yesterday in store in an extra small and in my online order I had ordered a small, but I'm glad I tried on the extra small because I actually feel like this fits really nice. So I've kept this one and then I'm gonna return the small because I just think the length of it's really nice. It fits great around here. Again, it's got these little kind of like bow ties and it's just a nice little lightweight dress. And then at the back, just got like a little bit of an open section there. I just think this is a really lovely colour. So definitely going to keep the extra small and return the small in this. This dress is very different and out there for me. I feel like, as you guys know, I probably wouldn't ever normally go for like a neon colour. But I thought this was really different. And I tried it on and I was like, mm, I don't know if I look like snot. <laughs> And Chris was like, no, babe, I love this dress. This is going to look so cool if we go to Ibiza, like, in an evening. And I feel like he never normally is, like, that hyped about a dress. But he really loved this one. And I do think it would be really nice on holiday, like, a really nice kind of deep tan. I was thinking to go, like, coral on my lips and kind of, like, contrast it. And then have this on and, again, like, a pop of colour on my heel or something. So I feel like this in Ibiza could definitely work rather than me just wearing it in my office right now then I also ordered this like short sleeve kind of like loose oversized shirt not sure if I'm feeling it though I feel like this would look cute maybe tucked into some denim shorts and I've just put these underneath this is probably how I wouldn't really wear it like this but I also got these black cycling shorts they've kind of got this rib detail going through if you can see up close I think these are the size small. I just think these are great just to kind of throw on with like a big t-shirt, like an airport kind of outfit. And then I did also get this white dress that you saw me trying on yesterday, but I'm not gonna try it on again because you already saw it. 
and it is so much effort to kind of undo this, unlace it and put it on and tie it up. But this is definitely probably one of my favourite pieces. I think it's just such a stunning dress. So you guys saw it, I will insert a little clip again. I just think this is going to be so beautiful, I just love the fit of this. These are the shoes I was telling you guys about, so they're really kind of like small heel. I like the fact that they're like a pink heel, but I just feel like the colour pink is just like a little bit off for me. Like I wanted it to be a bit more um, vibrant, I guess, like a bit more pastel, whereas this is a little bit more muted. And I just feel like they look a little bit like plasticky, like I don't feel like they look that high end and when you wear them I feel like my feet will actually like sweat in them because again they are a little bit plasticky so I feel like I should have invested maybe like 20 30 pound more and gone for the more expensive ones okay that was a lot of outfit changes guys I feel like I really dedicated myself to that I think that was everything I've recently picked up from Zara the only other thing I think was some like pink cycling shorts that I couldn't even get over like one thigh. I just feel like the sizing is so weird as are at the minute. And I did put this on my stories of the day and it was a bit controversial because some people said it's true, some people said it's not. But with the Zara labels, I will quickly show you. You can see here like this one has a triangle. Then like this dress for example has a square you can see the label and then there's another one that has a circle and apparently they're meant to have meanings like square I think is um, true to size circle is go up a size and triangle is down size I will definitely leave that on the screen or down below the exact um, method in the madness to that but then other people were saying it's not true and it's just kind of they have those symbols for the people in store to wear to place them like the sales assistant so who knows with Zara but I've got to get changed because I'm actually going out later I need to run to the shops and pick some stuff up and then I'm going for a sushi date which I'm really excited for so I need to zhuzh up my hair I feel like it's gone a little bit flat kind of top up my makeup just give it a little bit of a freshen up and then I need you guys to help me what to pick to wear. I think I might wear the little pink dress. It's a really hot evening and I feel like that might just be cute for a little sushi date. I literally got ready super, super fast. Slicked my hair back in a bunch. It's so hot tonight. Put on this little slip pink Zara dress. And then I've just done it at the back like this because I think it just looks a little bit cuter than the crisscross. And then I'm wearing my little coach bag and matching it with my white Zara heels that I've literally had for like two years. I wear these so much just because I feel like those pink ones would have looked cute but I just didn't like them so I think I'm going to return them. So I am ready to go. So we're just at sushi. We've ordered some loads of plates and I am with Leah. <laughs> we're doing a double date. I'm <laughs> having a lovely little sushi day. Come on, wine. Cheers. So blurry. Should book this soon. Blur. Blur. So, face. we've just finished up at dinner. How good was sushi actually? Yeah, we I got I feel like I options. actually adventured and tried out some new dishes. But Chris is just currently checking up on Bailey. Basically, we have this app where we can check up on him on our phone. So we're just gonna get in our Uber and check up on him, but we've literally been away from him for how many hours? Three. And we miss him already. <laughs> oh, we're just checking up on him on the app and look <laughs> sad. It's not even focusing. Oh my god, I can't. He's just in bed looking so sad. Bless you. We're such dog parents. We like check up. <laughs> <laughs> Check up on him whenever we go out.